So I did some RTA. By the way, this is my account. I changed my name yet again. I did some RTA. We have special league going on. It's only been going on for like two days at this point. And for whatever reason, I decided I was inspired to do special league. However, I wanted to get my LD5s into special league. So I basically just designed a comp around me wanting to play with my LD5s in special league. So let's actually take a look at some of the replays again. This is my account. This is my my island. You've seen my island a million times. It's got the same the same stuff. This is just I changed the name yet again. So uh, let's take a look at some matches and let's see how things went. So my favorite two LD5s to play with are the Light Monkey and the Dark Ninja. So I had to design a comp around the Light Monkey and the Dark Ninja. Since we have a 20 star special league, that was already 10 stars. That's already half the stars that I can uh, even use in this. So I had to design uh, the, the last three have to equal up to another 10 points. So I went for, uh, I had, I needed to do another speed lead. And I needed to do uh, two units that are on Swift. So uh, I went for the Gemini and the Bering. Bering is a fairly common unit on Swift. Uh, Bering plus the uh, Dark Ninja is a 30 speed lead and then a super fast swift unit that will strip and silence. Then the Gemini for the next one is another combo. He's a speed lead and he also has a strip into a defense break. And then my uh, light monkey is super fast as well. So my light monkey comes in uh, just after the, uh, the Gemini and will come in and uh, stun things, sleep things, slow things, decrease attack age based on the number of uh, debuffs. And then we have two combos there, right? Two combos there and then the last pick was only I only had two stars left to play with, right? So the last pick had to be a Lulu for two reasons. Number one, she's two star unit. She's a very strong two star unit. Uh, there's other things that I could have picked, but also Lulu is kind of a counter to the team, so that gives me some sustain if I need it. Uh, and also, if Lulu, if if they banned the Dark Ninja, and uh, Lulu resisted. Uh, on the in like the enemy picked a Lulu and she resisted and then she could cleanse everything up from the light monkey and then I don't get my my crazy combo through so potentially she's a counter to me and also uh, also I only had two stars to play with so sometimes I use other two star units if the enemy picks Lulu I'm prepared to deal with that as well but I have been uh, picking the Lulu first because that also first pick Lulu doesn't really telegraph the comp that I'm using. Next match, when I get the first two picks, I have been kind of choking on what, <laughs> what to pick. I'm like, I get Gemini and Lulu don't really make the most sense together. So I'm like, I, I gotta think of a better first two picks. Maybe I'll just go Han and Bering and... But I really like to pick a Lulu first, right? So we have the defense break. They, they banned the, the ninja, right? So I had the defense break into a lot of debuffs. Debuffs, debuffs, debuffs. So right now I'm gonna go for... I guess I decided to go for the Triana. Even though, oh, probably because the Triana's got a stun on her as well, and the um, the fairy only has a uh, sleep on her, right? So I wanted to. I, I would have normally gone for the fairy because she had the defense break, but uh, she only she she didn't have a stun. She just had a sleep. So then I'm just going. I have some additional damage on uh, Bering. So Bering's first skill will do some pure damage, basically. Uh, I think based on speed and just the, the artifacts that I have. Uh, he's got some additional damage based on speed. He has some additional damage based on something else. Apparently not too much. He's not doing a crazy amount of additional damage. But uh, yeah, I'm just trying to pick things off one at a time. Unfortunately, my big damage dealer is not in here, but we still do have some defense breaks. We still do have a lot of uh, AoE control. And then we do have some con like continuous damage from the Bering and also some... Um, some skill one additional damage from the bearing as well so we do we do at least we have defense breaks we have speed leads we have defense breaks we have swift units in both comps no matter what they ban again we have the gemini uh the gemini defense breaks there but uh yeah this next match i must have wised up to uh not picking uh gemini lulu i mean that was just the the first time we were picking gemini lulu i was like i don't really know what i want to pick first if we don't get the the single uh, first pick. So I'm, I'm always hoping for the single first pick. This way I just pick Lulu and it doesn't telegraph the comp that I use. In this though, uh, for what they were doing, uh, for what comp they picked, they just picked slow bruisers. And I was like, I could ban anything. I'm like, I wasn't really even too worried about any of their units in their comp. I could have just banned whatever I wanted to and it would have made basically the same difference to me, right? So uh, I actually, I went for that. I feel like maybe I should have gone. No, 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 no. That's the one I wanted to go for, actually. 
uh, cause I wanted to do enough damage so he didn't get that pure damage based on his HP lost to, uh, to my team. This next match, I change up the strategy a little bit. I don't use the light monkey that we've been using. Uh, I put a Rika last, so he's got no immunity. Uh, he's got two speedies, he's got two units on Swift. Um, if I let the Ashir through, that means everything was going to guarantee get a turn before we do. We actually outsped, but he gets lucky with Vertiheal, as, as that always happens. He, uh, he gets the strip. On the Rika. Rika didn't get that. Rika's resisting a little bit. Rika has high resistance. I have my Rika for high resistance, uh, high accuracy, and low crit rate on purpose. But the thing with the Rika is why I picked the Rika last in here instead of the uh, the monkey is Rika's got element advantage over everything, and she can potentially solo his entire team. I've seen that happen before. I've had Rika, unfortunately, I've had Rika solo my entire team. Like, okay, perfect. There's just a Rika and one other unit. It's 4v2. And, and Rika just comes in, she absolutely, absolutely demolishes. She's like, even if you reset her, she can proc with skill one over and over and over and over again. And it, it basically doesn't matter if she's like, if you, if you Ganymede reset her or if you Oki reset her and she just sleeps with skill one, gets another turn, sleeps with skill one, gets another turn, sleeps with skill one. And then she just comes in, she AOE stuns everything. Uh, yeah, Rika's so RNG, but she can, she can solo teams. I've seen her solo teams on many more than one occasion. So that's why I had to pick the Rika last. I was like, this is just too much of an opportunity to to not pick Rika last and just do some be a nasty jerk about it. This next match is an example of what happens when the enemy picks a Lulu first pick. So we go in with the Bering and the Gemini. He comes in with two super fast units uh, after this, and then a Laura and a Light Joker. So I picked the Konomiya. Konomiya is something I already had uh, in place to pick last. Uh, anyway, actually, Konomiya doesn't have any artifacts. I do need to artifact Konomiya, right? So we have the strip into a silence into a lots of CC. The nice thing, and then we also have some turn cycling. This monkey's going to turn cycle a lot with skill 2. Uh, he's going to turn deny the enemy with skill 3. And then Konomiya can keep resurging the monkey, just giving him extra turns. So his the potential of this monkey in this comp was absolutely nasty. Absolutely nasty. The Lulu is kind of a dangerous counter to the monkey because the the she could just cleanse everything and put immunity and then the monkey's like oh great uh but we did get the we did get two strippers on uh as well and then the economy was just the economy was going to deal with the uh the the bomber as well and then we had some strips to deal with the bomber and even if the even if the uh the water joker the bomber gets his bombs off we could have just cleansed them anyway so uh there we go. So another thing I want to mention, I know everyone's seeing these are Fighter 3, Fighter 3, Fighter 3. It's like the first 48 hours of Special League, so that's why, like, nobody, no one's in, like, G3 or anything. I wouldn't be G3 anyway, but it's just everyone is climbing. No one's just naturally, like, everyone's climbing right now. So, uh, this one is actually a fairly easy one. They didn't really contest speed. They didn't really give us anything dangerous that I wanted to... I mean, the Molly potentially can can be nasty against the uh, Han skill three. If he doesn't crit all his all his attacks, then we don't turn cycle like I wanted to. But they only ban the Lulu, so they ban the sustain. And then we had both of our nasty LD five combos. So I like it when we get both of our nasty LD five combos. And if you if you couldn't fi if you, if you didn't know that if you couldn't tell, I uh, I enjoy when we get our nasty combos through. First pick, uh, and first pick Lulu again. So these two uh, on the enemy side are, are definitely both going to be on Swift. I assume that that Tyrant is going to be extremely fast on Vile, or maybe even on Swift as well. Uh, so let's see. We get one combo through. We get the, uh, and the monkey is very fast. So the monkey is very fast. However, the monkey did resist. So we got the CCs on three things. However, he's got the CC on us. We do have the Lulu to cleanse things through. There we go, and we unfortunately we don't cleanse and immunity. Like it's not it's not uh, veligal. It gets an additional turn there. Uh, I think if I recall correctly, this uh, this Lauren likes to get additional turns uh, in this match. So we got an AOE stun, AOE stun there. You guys are like, wow, that's uh, crazy lucky. He's on he's on despair. That's he's on despair, and he also stuns with his skill. That's why I have him on uh, on despair. But he's crazy fast on despair. So there's really not too much of a not too much of a gap. You know, maybe maybe the Lauren doesn't go crazy with uh, Violent Procs here. We still do have a lot of CC with this monkey, though, right? So Giant Net again, and some more damage. We kill two things. We reduce attack age on everything, and uh, that's GG. Next match, again, first two picks of Lulu and Gemini for genius reasons. It's really such a dumb first two picks. 
But uh, based on the things that we're using in this comp, I'm like, I, I really should be first two picking something else. First one pick, Lulu is fine, is great, right? First two picks, Lulu and Gemini is, is just a wacky, that's, that's not really what you want a first two pick. So now we're just doing our, we're, we're just uh, turn cycling, we're turn denying, we're stunning things, and we should be good. Remember this monkey's super stun machine. He's super fast on despair, which means he's gonna see two stuns there, right? We got the stun from the, uh, stun from the despair and stun from the actual skill, so. I didn't need to cleanse there. Uh, I didn't want to wake either of them up, so that's why I just chose to do nothing with Lulu there. So just FYI, if you guys are like, why do you choose to heal something that's not uh, that doesn't need to be healed, right? So there we go, and that uh, that guy can't be defense broken. But the nice thing about things like that that can't be defense broken is with additional damage and artifacts, you just do extra pure damage, and the defense breaks are things that are immune to defense breaks are not as strong against those additional damage artifacts. So the unfortunate reality of the situation uh, now with these artifacts in play. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. I honestly wasn't even planning on doing much of Special League in the first place, but I was inspired to play around with some shiny toys, and then I was like, how can I make comps out of my shiny toys? What can I combo them with? And then what can I last pick that's going to be a nice uh, in that situation? And it's been... I've, I've kind of been enjoying this more just because... I'm just playing with toys and not taking it too seriously, right? So anyway, uh, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm not saying I'm completely stress-free do doing uh, RTA. I'm just saying enjoying it more because I'm less less try-hard, just picking shiny toys, basically. Uh, anyway, that's it for this one. See you as always in the next one.